We are now getting some more news and this is a CNN News 18 mega exclusive as uh, Gurpatwan Singh Panoon has issued a fresh statement now after his earlier one uh, attacking the Air India flyer ahead of uh, 19th November, the World Cup finals. He is now saying that uh, Sikhs should not be flying Air India and this in this new statement he's also said that uh, people's lives will be in threat if they travel via Air India. He's also gone on to glorify the killers of former Indian Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi and wants the IGI airport to be named as Bian Singh Satwant Singh Airport. Now, Parun has also said that uh, this is going to be breaking the backbone of India and we need to break the economy of India. He's also threatened Amitabh Bachchan, Kamal Nath and Jagdish Titler, these leaders and actor in that same video. And he's also seen threatening cricket matches final, especially the World Cup final that is set to take place in Ahmedabad. So remember this uh, threat statements and videos that have been released by Gurpatwan Singh Panyu only continue. After the first one, he has again released another video. This is the K Khalistan sympathizer, SFJ chief Panu. His new video statement has asked the Sikhs not to fly Air India. He's also said that uh, their lives will be in danger if they fly Air India. And then he goes on to glorify the killers of the former Indian Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi. He also goes on to say how the international airport, the Indira Gandhi International Airport, needs to be named as uh, Bayan Singh Satwan Singh Airport. All of the, this is part of this fresh video that has uh, been released by the SFJ chief. All of it is emanating out of Canadian soil, video after video. Canadian authorities are not doing anything about it. And he just doesn't leave it there. He's also issued an open threat to megastar Amitabh Bachchan, also political stalwarts like Mr. Kamal Nath and Jagdish Teitler. This is uh, what the state of affairs is. Jagdish Teitler continues to be a problematic figure when it comes to politics here in India. However, issuing an open threat and not having to worry about any kind of uh, uh, problems is something that Panun is uh, uh, going about and he is still defiant with certain statements that he continues to release. And he's also, not just that, he's also gone on to threaten the cricket matches that are currently happening as part of the World Cup in the country. So second video there, released by the Khalistan sympathizer and SFJ chief, Gurpatwan Singh Panun. We'll keep an eye on this story. These are, as per top intelligence sources, they have revealed that they have sufficient proof against not only Panun, but also against the countries that are keeping this global terrorist who is threatening India on a daily basis. What are they going to do about it? Something that we are keeping an eye on. But uh, let me take this across to a member of the Bharatiya Janata Party at the moment. Mr. R.P. Singh is joining us. Mr. Singh, another threat by Mr. Panun. No action has been taken. He sits in Canada and is very defiant and video after video is being released and then he goes on to threaten not just the Indian authorities but certain important figures, Indians and he's also threatening the matches that are happening in the country. What is India supposed to be doing now? Not only uh, matches, he's threatening that he'll repeat the uh, Kanishka bomb, uh, air, airplane bomb blast again of 1985. He's saying don't allow any uh, anyone to travel. He's saying not, uh, no six should travel by aeroplane on 19th of November. So yes. now Justin Trudeau has to come and show his guts. I mean, uh, will his country allow such elements in his country who are openly threatening violence, hmm. who are openly uh, trying to repeat what happened uh, in his father's tenure in 1985 when uh, uh, Parmar threatened and then he... Uh, uh, did the bomb blast in the aeroplane? So, it's the repeat of what happened uh, in 1985. Uh, we are hopeful that the, uh, it won't happen now. And Justin Trudeau and, and even uh, Joe Biden both will ensure that uh, the whatever action is required, he should be arrested and sent behind bars immediately. Because he's openly threatening not Indian, uh, not only the Indians or the Indian uh, diplomats, but he's threatening the airspace also. Uh, we don't know what, what are the plans are, mm. what, what he will do. Although India will take whatever caution is required, but yes, 
set us quite dangerous. Right. And Mr. Singh, the Ministry of External Affairs is already planning to mount some sort of an action. We have been uh, one with the idea how the government is not taking any of this threat lightly. And that's why they've already began channeling, uh, you know, uh, through, through back channels, uh, what can be done about it. But when it comes to having a word with the Canadian counterparts, how much do you think that is right now feasible given how the diplomatic ties between the two countries have only soured in the last few months? Well, uh, uh, Justin Trudeau is under political pressure. He is hmm. uh, under pressure to retain himself in power and uh, he, he, he is in power because of the support of uh, just, 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 just Meet Singh uh, who uh, is supporting Khalistani and who is openly uh, propagating hmm. their cause uh, and uh, the number of MPs he has without uh, his support, uh, Justin Trudeau can't run the government. Hmm. But it will be up to the opposition of the uh, Canadian uh, Parliament and also people at large, and especially the young lot who okay. have not seen what happened in 1985, how hmm. more than 300 people were killed, out of which uh, almost 75 were Canadians. Hmm. We are hopeful that uh, the people of Canada and the opposition in Canada will... Uh, put the due pressure on, on the Justin Trudeau and also hmm. the world democracies will also see through this and hmm. then will put the desired pressure on uh, Justin Trudeau to gain in uh, Pannu and others like okay. Pannu. Uh, Mrs. Singh, one last question to you. Do you think Indian authorities need to be speaking to their Canadian counterparts given what has really happened in the case of the killing of uh, Ms., uh, Nijjar and how the Canadian authorities really accused and also spoke about an Indian involvement with the same. Do you think that is even an option? Well, uh, our ambassador there has categorically just, uh, therefore yesterday has categorically issued a statement that they are still waiting for the evidence hmm. uh, which uh, uh, Justin Trudeau is speaking about. Uh, he said we are still waiting that those evidence should be presented uh, to us, but no, no reply from them. But if uh, Justin Trudeau or his government okay. doesn't yield to this, then are other options, there hmm. are other diplomatic options. Hmm. Uh, I'll appreciate if, uh, if Indian government can go to financial action task force, because okay. if such threats have to happen, then they are clearly a violation hmm. of the uh, human cause. Right. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for joining us. We also now have on the broadcast Major General A.K. Sivach who's joining us. Mr. Sivach, I'd like to first understand from you what you make of these back-to-back -back threat videos that are coming out and these are all from the Khalistan separatist and sympathizer Panun. He is releasing these videos left, right and centre from the Canadian soil. Canadian authorities are really not doing anything about it. And everything that he is uttering in these videos are anti-India slurs. Absolutely, Kyle. You know, one thing is very uh, clear that the uh, Canadian government is uh, closing its eyes that Sikh for Justice G.S. Pannun, uh, who is a terrorist and also a sympathizer of the Khalistan, is uh, giving such a threat that no one will, uh, no Sikh will, should go on an aircraft for Air India after October. And the Canadian government is all quiet. They are not saying anything. You know, it's a democratic country. They know it. This is a threat which has been given by J.S. Pannun Sikh for justice. He is a band in India and uh, he is giving open threat. And this is a requirement and duty of a uh, Canadian government, which is a democratic government. Justin Trudeau government is failing in all respects. They should now warn him. They should put him under arrest. He has no business to pass such a comment. Had this sort of comment passed in India, what action we would have taken it? They would have passed so much remark that in India, uh, what sort of democracy is there? So the mm. point today is that ki, as far as Canada is playing, I feel Justin Trudeau is playing with fire. Earlier he had put an allegation that Hadith mm. Singh Nijar has been eliminated by, by the alleged okay. uh, Indian agents and he is not able to which India has been time and again telling mm. that if you think there is a evidence, credible evidence, give us the proof. There is no proof. Right. And on top of that, now is encouraging all these elements to pass anti-India sentiment mm. and a video has been circulated. No action has been taken by uh, yes. uh, Justin Trudeau government. They are the citizen of Canada and it is a prime duty of the Canadian government to take a strict mm. action against them. No, right. The point is the double face of uh, Justin Trudeau government is...